for the serious gamer. Hey, it's SpiderBite at NextGenTactics.com. This is Battlefield Bad Company 2 Multiplayer, the SpiderBite Chronicles. We're going to do some some uh, various clips here, you know. And uh, right here we're playing uh, Rush Defense on Port Valdez. And what we're going to do here is we're going to spawn camp. That's right, spawn camp. You can probably do it better with a sniper, but we're doing it with our assault class. And we're just going to rush up this hill here and try and kill as many guys as we can that are coming down on those uh, parachutes. Yeah, that's right. And we got our noob tube. Yeah, we're noobs, you know. But whatever. It's probably better off if you snipe it. You can actually snipe the guys that are coming down on the parachutes. And, you know, I'm going to stop talking like this now. All right. Here we go. Let's get serious, man. Let's get serious with some spawn camping on Port Valdez. You can do this on uh, other maps as well. Certain maps. I mean, if uh, your squad and a few other squads set up a perimeter and, and just encompass the whole area. Uh, and it looks like, yeah, one of our squad mates just got a number of kills with an anti-tank mine. I mean, it's great. I can't wait to unlock those. Um, I think it's engineer class, maybe. But um, <clears throat> yeah, you lay those anti-tank mines down, especially on a map like this. There's only two roadways. I mean, they can go sort of cross country, but guys tend to stay on the roadways with the tanks. And if the tank's full and you got a couple guys following it, I mean, boom, dead, smoked, multi-kill, yeah. So you can only go up so far. I mean, obviously. Uh, you can't go right into their spawn and camp them because it'll warn you, Oh no, enemy mortars are there and they'll kill you. That's just a way of uh, keeping you, you know, back from the spawn. But, I mean, it's pretty effective. Like I said, get a sniper. I mean, if you're good with a sniper, you want to do this shit. I mean, I do get a few kills up here. Not as many as I could. And I'm actually using the F2000 here, so a little bit of a different weapon. Uh, I think in one of the later clips, I actually have the red dot sight unlocked for it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna use our noob tube. I still don't think I've, uh, done much with the, uh, ammo resupplies yet. But, you know, I, I do do that quite effectively now in, in current games that I'm playing, possibly. Oh, and see, you can get sniped pretty good too. And I'm pretty sure they can actually snipe you while they're parachuting in. Although, I would think that takes a fair amount of skill. Whoa, we almost got nailed by that tank. That was close, man. You don't want to be roadkill. Okay, so we're not seeing too many. That's probably because they all went by us in the tank and are now spawning on their squad mates. <laughs> ah, but we're going to stay up here and have a little fun. All our, our entire squad's up here. It's kind of funny. Woo, see? I'm taking it, man. So you just gotta be careful of that kind of shit, you know, especially on this map. And, uh, yeah, so that's sort of, uh, spawn camping on Port Valdez. Here's, uh, an epic fail. This is on Isla Innocente, and this is my very, very first attempt at flying a helicopter. And I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. I'm, like, going backwards and freaking going, trying to go forwards, and I'm leaving the combat area, and I crash. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd show that. What the hell? I don't care. I'm a loser. <laughs> I suck. Yeah. Uh, and here's, uh, I think, well, yeah, this is all part of the rest of the clips are part of the same game. So uh, we're on uh, Rush Offense and Ala Innocentes. Uh, the UAV's offline. Damn it. So this is basically what I'll typically do. I mean, I'll I'll rush the freaking target site. And I do that. I, did a, I do it in mag. I, ru I rush targets in mag. I rush targets in modern warfare. I rush targets in Battlefield Bad Company 2. I mean, why the hell not? What makes Bad Company 2 so special that I'm not going to rush plant a target? See? I'm just, wa you know, I'm walking in right here. And the funny thing is, you got too many guys. Again, it's the same with all the games, man. You got guys sitting back, twiddling their thumbs, uh, you know, trying to snipe. Whatever. I just walk right in here and I plant. Um... You know, of course, I should have went out the back side and not just stayed in this corner here because I get smoked right away. 
like right about now. But, you know, I mean, the point being, I, I walked right in there. I mean, give me a break. And I think A was even down there, wasn't it? Yeah, totally. A was already gone. B was the only one left, and I still walked in there. I mean, it's not like they were defending two targets. They were only defending one, and I freaking walked right in. Anyways, yeah, that's it. That's what you got to do. Okay, last clip. This is a little tank ownage, and uh, it's pretty sweet. I get a nice multi kill, and it's pretty good, too. Like, if you have a tank full of guys, I mean, other than running over a tank mine and the tank getting destroyed and you guys all dying, you get assists. So, you know, if one of the guys gets a kill in the tank, you get an assist and you get XP for that, blah, blah, blah. Look at that. We got electronic warfare package we just unlocked. So we're on the uh, machine gun. We don't have the main gun. And, uh, you know, we're going to do a little ownage here. It's actually, I mean, why am I not hitting that guy? It's kind of weird. But I got him there. This guy, I mean, I don't think you can actually drive the tank right in because uh, there are, there's a blockade. There are trees that you can't get past. Maybe you can. I don't know. This guy just can't drive, but whatever. So it's pretty sweet. You get a lot of assist points and uh, you can get a lot of kills too and a lot of uh, kill points. So, uh, and these guys, you know, at least initially they keep coming. Come on, baby. Come on. So it's uh, pretty worthwhile to, uh, to get in the tank. And, you know, especially when you're in engineer class, and I'm going to show that in the next video. It's actually a full game on um is it on this map i think it's i don't know why i'm keep playing this map but i don't know anyways i got an awesome engineer class game on this map and uh you know if you have the uh, repair ability unlocked or the repair tool unlocked i mean you know right now i could be hopping out and repairing the tank hop back in boom keep firing right right so i get to, i don't know i mean you guys can go back in the video and count for me i'm not going to go back and count and see how many kills i get and see how many assists I get. But uh, I got a combat efficiency pin, so that's not too bad. I think that's like a six kill streak or something like that. So seven kill streak, and our tank's almost done. And a bunch of passenger assists. I mean, you know, you're talking uh, four, you know, 400, 500 points XP right there, not including bonuses for pins and whatever else so it's pretty sweet and then i get out of the tank and i own too so well except for that guy and he's running away from me he's like somebody firing at me i don't know i'm just gonna run away and i get him anyways okay so that's just a few clips for uh episode number eight hope you like them we're gonna try and do some more you know very varied clips videos um but like i said episode nine is gonna be a three-parter a full game of rush offense uh uh, my first time using the engineer class, and and I did uh, pretty well on that uh, on that game. I think so. Anyway, I could have probably died a few fewer times, but whatever. Anyways, hope you liked it for no more and stuff and more tactics and gameplay and you know that kind of shit. Go to nextgentactics.com. I'm telling you, spider bite out.